Good morning. I did an overview of the curriculum Google site. Um, there were some questions yesterday on where to find the information. Basically, all your information about how to log into the curriculum is up at the tabs at the top. More has the social studies right there, as well as if you want to know how to log into BrainPop, Spelling City, or AR, you just need to click the arrows. So a lot of it is the arrows that will lead you down to those options. For example, I'll start with BrainPop. If you click on BrainPop, um, it'll allow you both to log in as well as see those instructions. On here, instead of referring parents back to the teachers, I went ahead and just gave them my code on how to log in. If you'd like to give your, your personal teacher code, that's fine. If not, we don't really use at this point BrainPop as a resource to assign assignments. We just give it to them so they have access to it. So BrainPop, here are the different options for BrainPop. And then underneath is the how to log in. So here's a code, oops, there's the code right there. When the parents log in to BrainPop, they need to just click on enter a code um, and then give their personal information, create a username and password, and they're good to go. They then can log on in any of those BrainPops, okay? Um, let me jump over to Journeys. You see there's an arrow, so if there's an arrow, that means there's always other options. There's Journey Instructions, but let's say you didn't see that arrow and all you did was click on Journeys, and we have this for each of our curriculum. I'm just going to show you an example of Journeys, though. Um, if you click on the image for Journeys, it will take you to the website. You can click here for instructional videos. I don't think I have one for journeys yet, but I will have videos for all of them. Um, I think even some of you guys are creating those videos now. But I keep scrolling. Here's the how. Um, so for a lot of these sites, it's just scrolling down, and you're going to see that how to log in. There's the kindergarten, first grade, second grade. This was the binder that we had last year. We're giving it a try this year with giving all kindergartners just one login. We're going to see how it goes. So that's the Journeys login. I'll give you an example of my math. Um, and again, if I didn't click on the Journeys where that was an option, then do you see how I could get it from the home page as well? Because we thought, well, not everybody's going to click on that arrow. So we will have some Journeys instructional videos here. We're getting those uploaded, uploaded as we speak. And then we have my math. I'm just going to go through them real quick. Um, you can click on the image to visit the My Math Online, but if you keep scrolling down, you're going to get how to log in. So there it is right there. Returning families, what do they need to do? If they're a new family, what do they need to do? They need to make sure and have that code, um, and they need to follow these directions for student and parent um, information. Okay. The other thing I'm going to show you from here, I don't think I need to go through all of those websites. Click on the curriculum and you're going to get the directions. Here's the grids and lesson plans. They have drop down menu for the lesson plan. If I click on kindergarten, it's going to take me to the grid. The drop down menu will take me to the lesson plan. For example, I click on kindergarten. Sorry, my computer's a little bit slow it's going to take me straight to the grid rather than the other option of the lesson plan. So here's the grid. Let me move my box real quick. Here's the different RPs here at the bottom. Um, it's nice because if any information gets changed, I can go in and change and it should be updated automatically. Um, if I forget that there's a drop down menu for the lesson plan, I can click right here for the lesson plan. So there's two ways to do it from that home page, or I could go to the top and go kindergarten and then lesson plan. Either way. The other complaint I heard yesterday was while this is really small, I can't see it. I want to see it in one box. When it loads to the top right of every screen, whether that's the grid, whether that's the lesson plan, you can always click on it and it will go to full screen. You can print it from there as well. Give my computer just one moment and you can see it full screen.
And now here it is full screen. So I can scroll down. Oops, it's getting kind of funky. Sorry. Um, full screen. I can go back to the tab. Let me push this up. So you see the circle spinning, so I know that it's still loading a little bit. Um, if I'm done looking at that lesson plan, I can either X out of it or I can just go straight back here. And then there should be week one, week two, week three, and week four. Again, once I start hovering over that lesson plan, I can expand it and make it bigger. It's up to you guys. So this curriculum website, I'll go back to the home. After parents um, learn to log in, they can refer back to this website. They can bookmark their curriculum. And um, that's why at the homepage, we really had just that list of all of our curriculum and the websites to go to because the how-to is really a one-time use um, and then these might be more frequently used, okay? So again, all of our curriculum is over here, including more, which has the social studies and the additional resources, Brain Pop, Spelling City, and um, AR. And then this tab they might use frequently, which is the grids. Use the drop-down menu to see the lesson plan for each of those. Oops, go back. Sorry, my computer is a little bit slow. If I can, if I click just on the grid, which I did accidentally, then I could scroll down and I see all those. So a lot of it, when it pops up initially, is just scrolling. Scroll down, and you're going to see that information. Um, I just want to remind you, it is a work in progress. We will add more tabs to make things easier to see and more convenient. Um, but I just learned how to use this with the help of Jennifer. Um, so in a matter of three days, we got this going. And I wanted you to have the information and share it to your families so that they know each of our curriculums, how to log in, and then have those resources. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, don't hesitate to call me or email, email me if you guys have questions. Thanks. Bye.